So let's consider a plug flow reactor uh, and impose some first order kinetics on the expressions that were derived earlier. So a plug flow reactor is simply a, a specific case of a tubular flow reactor and we've got an inlet flow of Q meters cubed per second uh, with a, uh, an inlet concentration of our starting component A of CA0 moles per cubic meter. We've got a cross-sectional area of A and the distance travelled along here is X and at the end here we've got X equals L and at the inlet X equals zero. Uh, the uh, expression that was uh, derived before was that RA, where RA is the reaction rate of our starting component A, is equal to um, Q over A times DCA by DX. So that's the variation of uh, concentration along the length of the reactor uh, expressed as a function of the inlet flow rate cross-sectional area. Uh, and if we now have first order reaction kinetics, we can write that RA is equal to minus K times CA, where K is the first order kinetic rate constant, and because it's first order, it has units of seconds to the minus one. So we can put, put that in the above equation. I would it's it's. RA is minus K times CA because A is the starting material which has been consumed, so it's, it's a, a, a negative term. And we've got the minus KCA is equal to Q over A times DCA by DX. Now, uh, to integrate this, we do a couple of things. First of all, I, w I want to replace Q over A by the velocity U. So I can say that Q over A, so the volumetric flow rate divided by the cross-sectional area is going to be U. That's the velocity in meters per second. And we need to just make one further assumption, and that is that we have constant temperature along the tube. So that we can assume that K is a constant value in order to allow us to do this integration. And if we do that, if we substitute uh, Q over A by U, and we can start to can rewrite this uh, as uh, an integration and we get minus k over u as well the integral of dx is equal to integral dca over ca. Um, we need some limits on here so we're going to start from x equals zero at the inlet to our reactor. And we're going to go to some distance along the reactor, x. So the expression we're going to we'll derive will, will actually be valid at any point along this reactor. And we've got c 
CA naught at the inlet and CA at some given point uh, along the reactor. So if we do that integration, this side's easy because that, that's a constant term. We get that minus K over U times by X to the limits of naught and X is equal to so the integration, the integral of 1 over CA DCA is the log of CA and again that's between the limits of CA naught and CA and from that we get that minus K over U times x is equal to log of ca minus log ca naught which is the log ca over ca naught and you can write that as x equals minus u over k times log ca over ca naught and you can get rid of the minus sign just make that u over k and you get rid of the minus sign by just inverting that expression inside the log there and that becomes ca naught over ca and that's that's an expression that, that will give you the the length required for a given conversion from CA naught to some no value of CA, from you know the kinetic rate constant and a velocity. If you wanted to do a slightly different calculation, then you could go back up here and take exponentials to get rid of the log term and you get that the exponential of minus k over u times x equals ca over ca naught and hence ca equals ca naught multiplied by the exponential minus k over u times x and that will give you the, uh, exp the uh, concentration of CA as a function of the starting the inlet concentration CA naught and again the distance travelled rate constant and the, and the velocity so and that, that, that is a uh, typical first order decay but in this case it's with length uh, rather than time as is more often seen.